We visit the Mavis Bank Coffee Factory, Jamaica's largest producer of Jamaica Blue Mountain Coffee. There are 10 stages that the coffee has to go through before you start to enjoy a cup of coffee. Mr. Bertus, our featured artist of the week, discusses his new collaboration with Billboard artist I Wayne, song titled They Have No Love. Ronnie Carson, Peaceful Warriors, Rastafarian inspired art exhibit to be featured at the Prince Street Gallery in Chelsea. We're gonna cook today. All right, let's. Celebrity let's. chef Patrick Simpson teams up with us in Brooklyn's Danny Deuces as they prepare a seafood nice. boil this on this week's right In Adi Kitchen. Look at me! You're watching Come Chat With Me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine. And I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. Yeah, man, come chat with me. We're there. We're live, yeah. And we're at the Mavis Bank Coffee Plot in Blue Mountain. I don't know, so the thing is exclusive. You see what I have in my hand? You want to better keep it locked. We're going to find out the process and the whole thing about coffee. Yeah, the same coffee them that are not drinking. Seen right here in Jamaica, the number one coffee. See, to keep it locked. Blue Mountain style. Ziggy Bless, we're there. The coffee industry is very important for Jamaica. 25 million US dollars is generated by exporting coffee on an annual basis. It supports 7,000 farmers, 102,000 farm families. 70% of our coffee is exported in green beans. Of the 70%, call it the whole, 70% of that goes to Japan, 20% to the United States, and 10% to Europe, China, and the rest of the world. So the Japanese market is the largest buyer of Jamaica Blue Mountain coffee and this has been established over a long period of time. Mavis Bank is ecstatic because we were the first company in 1953 to export coffee directly to the Japanese market. There are 10 stages that the coffee has to go through before you start to enjoy a cup of coffee. Mavis Bank Coffee Factory is one of the companies that was formed in the 1920s that prides itself in the growing, the processing and the exporting of the finest coffee in the world, Jamaica Blue Mountain Coffee. Coffee has a strong history dating back to 1726 when it was imported by Sir Nicholas Laws in Jamaica, the then governor um, from England and it was brought here and planted at Temple Hall in St. Andrew. The Arabica typical coffee was the variety that was planted here and the Jamaican farmers continued to grow this coffee over many many years and history, its quality, its taste um, it's rank among all coffees in the world as certainly shown and demonstrated without a shadow of a doubt that Jamaica Blue Mountain Coffee is the very best coffee in the world. Mavis Bank Coffee Factory is a coffee factory that processes Jamaica Blue Mountain Coffee. We buy coffee from some 3,500 farmers that grows this coffee in regions specified by law as Blue Mountain regions. These regions are in the parishes of St. Andrew, Portland, and St. Thomas. And the farmers pride themselves in growing the finest coffee in the world. A coffee tree is transplanted from a nursery into the plantation, and that coffee tree will take about three to four years to come into its first production. You'll get maximum production in year five, and that coffee plant can last for up to 10, 15, even 20 years. This is how the farmers will sell the coffee when it is cherry ripe, and we will buy the coffee in units of measurement that is called a box. The first stage is to float the coffee. This is done in the fields, but when it comes to the factory, we will also do it. And the objective of this is to ensure that we are selecting the finest of the finest. We eliminate 
floats, immature berries, and we will only accept the well-developed, well-riped cherry coffee, and this sinks to the bottom. So once we select and we accept this cherry, we then pulp the coffee with a machine. And the pulping process is just the removal of this outer section here, um, which is the skin, exposing the parchment, which is then scrubbed, and the mucilage is removed. The wet parchment after the removal of the mucilage is then spread out on barbecues or we call them patios and the objective of that is to reduce the moisture placed in a mechanical dryer dried at 55 degrees celsius and over about a 48 hours period it will pull the moisture content down to 12 percent and it will then look like this cured parchment when it gets to this point it is then bagged or sacked and place in our warehouse where it is rested or aged. And the reason why you need to do this is to ensure that there's a redistribution of the moisture in the beans. It also helps the coloring of the beans and it helps to get rid of what is called a greenish taste. So Jamaica Blue Mountain Coffee is known for its mellow characteristics, sweet and balanced. If you hold this coffee, immediately after it is dry you will get a greenish taste which is not a flavor that we want in jamaica blue mountain coffee and that is why we rest it so when it is rested for between eight to ten weeks we then bring the parchment back into the production process that we call the dry mill the process from floating to pulping is called wet mill which you receive the coffee, you float the coffee, you pulp the coffee, and then you dry the coffee. So that is the end of the wet mill process. There are 10 stages that the coffee has to go through before you start to enjoy a cup of coffee. The sorting process is where we eliminate all defects, whether it is broken beans, discolored beans, or any foreign object. And when we are complete when we complete that process, the coffee looks like this. Almost perfect. So what I just did was to break the surface get the aroma uh, and so I'm now going to be tasting just to confirm what I smelled and to identify any further characteristic that might be in the cup. So what I'll do, I'll take a sample out, I'll slurp it in, get a fine spray to the back of my taste buds and then I'll be able to analyze and conclude um, on the coffee that I'm cupping. I've been asked, why is Jamaica Blue Mountain coffee so great? So what I've just cupped is a coffee that is very balanced, very mellow, very full-bodied. It gives me a beautiful lingering aftertaste that says, hey, Norman, you just had the best coffee in the world, Jamaica Blue Mountain coffee. And that is what categorizes the Jamaica Blue Mountain coffee because of its body, its aroma, its acidity, its... Um, flavor and it is just the best. It is the cloud cover, it is the soil type, it's a people that grows and handles this beautiful product. It is a gift from God because you will not be able to have this fantastic experience, coffee experience, if the coffee is not grown in the Blue Mountains in Jamaica and that is why we say the Jamaica Blue Mountain coffee is world's best. Yeah, CIN TV, we're live now on 
We have Abbey Beauty Salon, you know. I fix up my face right now. And my first time I had this. It's a summer where I really just feel but Something I have to promote. Once we can make money on the future. Spray away, band the floor, lifeless flesh lay away. Oh yeah. But people tired of the madness and the badness here on earth. Some have no love within their own. Greetings, one and all. This is CIN TV. Come chat with me. We are talking about the big tune and they have no love on the Dirt Works label. Yeah, man, we have to talk about that tune. That tune is a motivation and an inspiration, you know? Yeah, that song is a collaboration with me and the original, original Billboard artist, Iwin. The man who sing One Man Can't Satisfy You. This is Bertus, and Babylon could never try to hurt us. So right now we are talking about the youths them right now of today where they may live right. You understand what I mean? So we have to make music to uplift the youths them. You understand what I mean? And keep them on the right track. So we say stay away with guns, put away the knife and the badness. On the floor, lifeless flesh lay away. Oh yeah. But people tired of the madness and the badness here on earth. Some have no love within their own. See, I am tired of the madness and the badness here on earth. Some have no love within their own. We should be replacing all the sadness with gladness and good works. We need goodness in our heart. Love and unity is hurt us and they cannot hurt us. Rrrm, big tune every time. From evil stay away, put the SLR and AK away. In the streets the kids are play away, bullets are stray away. By your quint another flesh gets slay away. Evil in a glass house, a glass out and a tap out Them larger than life so them will sort out A lot of youths that in for hunger that we kid a laugh about Them molest the kids and I'll go cut them heart out 2019 is a year where it really start off good because as I can tell the people themselves Mr. said the turn for reggae music, you know It is here, you understand what I mean? People say it gone but it's here because as you can see the Butcher Bantan concert You can see the people them want authentic music So we have to say the music come back right now to where it's supposed to be because a lot of big people don't go out you know and right now they are going to start going out back right now guess what they realize the reggae is the love of the people then you understand what I mean that's why we sing songs like stay away they have no love you understand what I mean when the sun comes out in the morning times and the moon comes out at night I have to pray 2019 is a good year we just want you to keep it real and keep it clean show love man go look for some old people to man take care of them everybody yeah, it's Bertos. Show the them love. Every time. They are Portmore right now, and Portmore is the original city. See, in Portmore, one of the firm branch in a dance hall, you know, you have the great Vibes Cartel. You have Mad Cabra. You have Frisco Kid. You have Basco Mix. You have Egyptian. You understand? You have Hannibal. You understand what I mean? You have Kid Famous. You have I Wayne. Wooly Parkis about it. You understand what I mean? You have Beaky Billy, Dubs Ranks, Professional. Ricky General, Mega Bantan. Bertos. They cannot hurt us. Rrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
This episode of Inner the Kitchen is brought to you by Walker's Wood Caribbean Foods. All right, guys, you're done already. This week, Inner the Kitchen, it is going to be crazy. I have a full show for you guys. And as you can see, my setup is a little bit different. Danny Deuce is going to be in the building. This girl is a social media hit. She recently came out on um, Hustling Brooklyn. It was crazy. She put on a Give wonderful water, show. So does. keep it locked. Don't go nowhere. Inner the Kitchen, get crazy. We're gonna cook today. All right, lit. Are you ready for this? Yes, I can't really cook, but we're gonna be capping. I could eat, I could cook chicken, you know, yeah. but all the lobster, the yeah. shrimp and stuff. <laughs> all I'm gonna stuff. learn today. Yeah, we, we but I'm, I'm all about learning today. You season up the meat, and this is you. Um, I'm gonna get this ready, get the oil ready, um, take off the cover, put the cover over there, and you're good to go. You got it. What I did to make it easy for you, I already killed the lobster and clean him and okay. it's ready. Okay, great. So you're good to go. So right now, we're going to be doing a uh, lobster boil, okay. seafood boil. So we're going to have uh, a whole lot of different seafood going inside of it. What kind of oil is this? Okay, this is a virgin olive oil. This is what I like to use. Okay. This is a big knife, right? Okay. You got this? Okay. Why you want me to do with it? All right, you're going to cut. You're going to cut, cut right, it. Yeah, right through. Nice. This is teamwork right there. In the meanwhile, while you're doing that, cut that in oh, cut cut, little yeah. pieces. Yeah, cut that in little okay. pieces. This is teamwork. A little bit bigger. A little okay. bit bigger. I'm gonna start putting all the ingredients together. Nice. Okay. You're good. Shaka diesel. Yeah, cut that up too. That's a teamwork right there. Okay, I Beautiful. got it. You got it? I got it. Hey. All right, nice. All right. It smells so good. I'm not gonna. Whatever All right, I'm in putting there. in my green bell pepper. Oh, that's a my red bell pepper. I'm putting in my onion. Okay. When you finish with that, what you're gonna do? You're gonna take all of this and mm -hmm. you're gonna put it in right inside okay. that bowl. All you people that think that Danny Deuces couldn't cook, look at what's going on right here. Yeah, it's happening, y'all. <laughs> all right, that's what I'm talking about. And it about. smells so good. Like I can't so, wait to eat it. This is scallop. Mm-hmm. Cut it too. And you're gonna take the scallop and cut it in four. In four. Yep. Careful, and then you're gonna have your shrimp. Okay. Beautiful. Look you know, I might there. just go and learn how to cook for real. This is kind of fun. All right. So now you have the shrimp. You're gonna put like four shrimp inside. That's four? good enough. That's, That's good, good enough. enough. Okay. Yeah. Let's cut cut this small piece. She want a lot of seafood. You see? Yeah. Cause She's my going friend, for she, some more salad. She, she, she wants some food too. So right. you know, she gonna try. To, I like to eat. I don't like to cook it, but. I cook it. <laughs> so. That's okay. what I'm talking about. A little mm. bit of salt, put it right here. Let them see what's going on. Put a little bit more, put a little bit okay, more. I don't want a yeah. salty, I don't like salty food, right. you know? Some fresh garlic. Okay. And you're good. All right, a little bit of Old Bay seasoning. If you guys think Danny Deuces can cook, don't get it twisted. Look at that. A little bit of black pepper. I love black pepper. All I right. get crazy with black pepper. Let's drizzle a little bit of olive oil. Okay. A little bit. Nice. This is the fun part of it now. You're gonna grab a spoon from there. Okay. Yeah, take one of the biggest spoons. You chef. Spoon. You know what you chef. Okay, okay. Alright. We're gonna go with a little bit of the Walker Wood drip mm -hmm. season right here. Just to give I it like that it little spicy. Cake. You like it spicy. I like it very spicy. Alright, suck it, suck it now. That's what I'm talking about. All this thing for the camera. Yeah, okay. it's beautiful. Should I take it? Nice. Like, I don't, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, sorry, Mova. I don't even think she need me anymore. I think she got yeah, this. Yeah, I think I got it. I'm about to I get a man now. It. This is why I couldn't <laughs> get a man, because I can't cook. Put a little bit of wine over. All over, yep. Beautiful. Stop, that's good. Oh. Yeah. Guys, I wouldn't expect anything different. It's Danny <laughs> Deuces right here. This is a tomato chutney sauce. This is real good, and the way how you make this, 
-huh. This is your cherry tomato. Uh -huh. You kind of flavor it up a little bit first, and then you put it inside your saute with a little bit of butter, okay. a little bit of garlic, um, spice them up a little bit. And it's good. And this is something you can even have with a pasta. Yeah. You know, I was going to... Some pot. Mm. The reason why I leave the crawfish for last, because the crawfish is mm -hmm. already cooked. So oh, I never just, had crawfish before. You never had crawfish mm -hmm. before? This was my first time. No, crawfish is real good and real flavorful. Put a little bit of butter in. Okay, like... Well, you see all that bad boy coming together? Look at that. Like, try to do two, two pieces, Yeah, like three. four pieces. Okay. Yep. Take it up. It's all in the wrist. Oh, he's just... Yeah. Flip of the wrist. <laughs> I don't want to drop no, it. I would be very good. upset if I drop the food right now. It's all good. Danny's doing the veg right here. And the meat is all done. Yeah. Look, look at that, guys. You see yeah, how pretty that looks? So smell good. Nice. Like. Nah, it smells really good. That's what I'm talking Some about. Some hot sauce. And we Ooh. did this together right here in front of you. And you see all the steps. You're going to help me with a plate in. Okay, what Focus on detail right here mm -hmm. nice no no corner of the plate no spilling Sorry. everything nice and clean a little okay. bit more a little bit more yes cooking with love i gotta see that love i didn't see the love let me see the love, yeah, see the love. cooking with love cooking with love i definitely did it with <laughs> let love let me see the love now all right guys you see the love nice. it's a spinach rice spinach rice oh yeah. i never had that kind of rice before okay it's and hot. put it so in yeah. this yeah Oh, it's kind of hot. I got it. I got it. Yep. Nice teamwork. Beautiful. It smells good. The rice smells yep. good. Surprisingly. Because. Nice. Beautiful. That's good enough. Okay. I love rice. Yeah. That's why. She's like, she loves rice. That's why I know. Then you're going to put your meat. Nice. I don't want to see. I don't want to see no sauce, no meat, or okay. anything drip on this line you know i'm sloppy but okay <laughs> first before you do that let your spoon drip a little bit remember no sauce no dripping on the side all right just no more sauce just go for meat now okay meat okay just go over more into the rice beautiful Ooh, look at look me at, look at that attention to detail mm -hmm. nice and clean you got your veg, you got your rice, and your seafood ball. It's a pleasure having Danny Deuces in the building. Yeah, it was keep so it much locked. fun. Come in the show, come in. This young lady has so much going on. So keep it locked until I catch you next week in the kitchen. We're going to go on and enjoy this. So go uh, so. Yeah, I'm ready to eat now. Let's go. All let's right, do this. Come, come. Let's go do this. Stay connected with Come Chat With Me. Thanks for watching. Come chat with me. See you next week. From the evil you fi stay away. Cause I'ma put the SLR and AK away. Inna the streets the kids are play away. Machine a spray away. On the floor life less flesh lay away. Simply kills.